Hey YouTube, check out our beautiful miniature schnauzer puppies in training, Milo and Scout. Milo and Scout are brothers and they have just completed our eight week training program. So stay tuned to check out their progress. All right, so first up here we have Scout. Scout is a fun and happy-go-lucky kind of a boy. He is very willing to please and he's very awesome in his training sessions. He's very willing to do what he is asked and he loves to work. And you can see him here, he's up on our kennels. We try to expose our puppies to a variety of obstacles so that they can get used to doing different things, getting up on stuff, off of stuff, jumping, that kind of a thing, going up and down stairs. So, this is kind of a fun little obstacle for them to be able to go up and down on the kennels. And then while we're on the kennels, it's just kind of like when we work with them on the raised training bed, it's a raised surface, gives them a different view of things. Now here we have Scout's brother, Milo. Milo is a little bit more lower energy and as you can see, a little bit more cautious than his brother, Scout. And those are not bad qualities. Each of our puppies are individuals and are worked with as individuals. And so we are able to cater our training program to each of our puppies' different personalities. And you can see Milo here is up on the kennels and he has a very nice solid stay. You can see just with his behavior that he is a lower energy puppy. He still likes to play and interact with the other puppies in the family and he likes to explore, but he's also not excitable and silly like some of our puppies can be at this stage. So he's a wonderfully sweet puppy and Milo has found a forever home. We're very excited for him and his family. All right, here is the two brothers together. Now these two are really difficult to tell apart. So we have Milo in the blue collar on the smaller kennel and Scout is in the black collar on the larger kennel. Now we call this type of training session tandem training because you're working with both puppies at the same time. And we usually only do this towards the end of the training program if we get an opportunity to do it because it's a really difficult for our puppies um, when they're worked together, it's a huge distraction for them to watch the other puppy, for example, get a treat or for the trainer to interact with one puppy while the other puppy's expected to sit or stay or lay down and wait. So excellent opportunity for them to learn and to grow. All right, so this is a neat little clip of the two boys, Milo and Scout. In the training homes that these two work in, they are asked to stay off the carpet. Now this process of them staying off the carpet is a long-term process. It doesn't happen overnight. Um, and we start out with kind of gates that we block them off with it's just a little bit easier with puppies when we're starting them out to keep them off the carpet so we don't have accidents and whatnot. And so you can see that these puppies have learned to respect those boundaries. And here's just some lifestyle shots of our puppies. We had a couple of our other puppies in training come over to visit. And you can see it's kind of like this big meet and greet with all of the puppies. We've got Brody and May and Scout and Milo and Leo here. So you can see the puppies are all sniffing. They're getting along well, meeting new puppies. Milo and Scout had not met Brody and May up to this point. So this was a really awesome opportunity for them to get to know the other puppies that we have in training. And here's a couple of other family members that are in our training homes. You can see that Milo and Scout are around big dogs and small dogs, and they're easily adaptable. They're very friendly with new dogs. They have other dogs in the home to learn good social behaviors amongst the small pack of dogs that they live with. Now, Milo and Scout have also been raised around children and small children, including toddlers, and they are very easygoing and relaxed around the children. They get used to the chaos that children can bring, and they are very patient with the kids. 
that's one nice thing about our puppies being raised in homes with children is that children can be overwhelming for dogs if they're not raised around them. And you can see that the puppies are really relaxed and easygoing and happy to be around the children, be held and be petted and be around the noise and the chaos uh, of the children. You can see they're very relaxed when they're being held and they love the kids. They love the um, attention from anybody, adults and children alike. These boys have been so awesome in training. They've done so very well. We've worked with some full siblings of these two in the past. We've been very impressed with the, them and that's why we wanted to work with Milo and Scout. They're just awesome, very handsome, good looking boys. Scout is still looking for his forever home, so if you're interested in a wonderful family companion, please contact us through our website and we'd be happy to provide you with more information. For more information on our unique and amazing puppy training program or to see our current and available puppies in training, please visit our website at www.snakerivercanine.com.